Amani channel with VideoChefs.com and I'm super excited because if you haven't noticed, well, first of all, we're looking at my iPhone, but there is a new version of iMovie. So um, if you haven't used the iMovie mobile app for iOS devices, you got to check it out. It's just been updated. You'll notice that the icon is now blue. I think it was red before. I've been using it for about a week now at the time of this recording. So I just want to show you some of the basic features. Um, you'll see the layout has changed. So um, you can click there and you can see some of the videos that you've recorded. You click there and you see the projects and then you click theater and there are some other options to tap or start a new movie or a project or whatever it is. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at projects now. To start a new project, you just click on the bottom right with the plus icon at the bottom right of the screen. So just go ahead and do that now. And then you'll see that you can create a new movie or trailer. Um, I usually just create movies. You can create a trailer, which gives it kind of the trailer effect. And then you'll have the chance to um, create different themes. Now the themes, the only reason why the themes are really different is because when you create graphics, like an intro graphic or a um, any sort of lower third, it will apply the theme to those graphics. So. That's really the only uh, effect that the theme has. So I like uh, the modern theme as well as bright. Those are the two that I generally like. So you just go there and then we will create movie. All right, so this is general canvas window. And to start off with, I'm just going to check, uh, click on or tap on the question mark, which will give us all the options. So to go back to projects, we tap on there to record your audio. To take or record photos or videos, to add media, photos, video, or music to change the themes and more and then to undo you tap on the undo arrow key all right so that's the basic home screen and so that's basically it and then i'm just going to show you how to add um we're going to add a clip here all right so we will add video we'll go to the camera roll here and then you'll see some video so this is actually a little mini documentary that i shot there's some different it's called uh, the shades of fall and these are some this is some video that I shot so I'll just uh, grab a couple clips here this is not what I use in my final video but you will see that to tap on you tap on whatever clip you want and then you'll see 16 seconds the total total duration here and then you can do a few things you can scrub that left or right which will shorten the clip you can see the time is reducing there and then we'll just make that about a five second clip four second clip right and then to add that to the timeline you just add the arrow all right and that will add it to the timeline all right i'm just going to add one more clip for you which is we'll do this one all right so once again we will and you don't have to minimize the clip here you can also just add the whole clip to the timeline but then you have to split or trim it later all right so now we have a couple clips added and then you can scrub by just uh, putting your finger and sliding left or right and then to play you just tap on the bottom right arrow which is the play and then that will play the clip all right it's a little bit behind but there it is all right and then uh, to add transition so this is a new feature of the new uh imovie version 2.0 it's the same to control it but just double tap on the transition in the middle of the clip and that will bring up all your options. So these are some of the new options, which I will show you now. There's like a, it's like a wipe and you have some various options here. So you have uh, three different options, like a left to right, right to left, down to up, up to down, uh, some additional wipes. And then what I like are the fade to blacks and fade to whites. So this is definitely a new transition. And it definitely adds up, can add a professional feel to your video because, you know, the the other wipes, like the the, 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 the wipes and that sort of thing can kind of make your videos cheesy. Uh, I think there's a star wipe here as well that you can choose. Um, and that's actually the transition of the theme. But I like the fade to blacks and fade to whites, which are just simple transitions to use. And so that will just fade the clip. All right that way all right so that's just a fade to black now we will add let's see you can double tap on the clip and that should bring up some um, options here so you can split the frame you can freeze the frame you can duplicate these are all new features um, you can add you can adjust the audio by sliding it up or down and you can add theme music fade in and fade up from black for the beginning and the end of the project and you have some uh, audio um, toggling here with the pitch that changes. All right. So let's go ahead and 
let us add a title now. All right, you can add an opening, a middle or a closing title. You can see the theme now adds to the lower third. All right, those are the different options there. We'll just add an opening one and we'll put test. Test video, all right? We'll go done. And now when we play it, that should appear. There we go at the intro. And then it'll have the fade to black. It's a little buffering issue there with the screen capture. All right. Now there's some additional new features that I will show you now. So let's go back to our camera roll. This is the, the to lay additional video track that's picture in picture. And this might be a split screen. I haven't used this transition. We'll take a look and see what this does here. Yeah, split screen. All right, so very cool, very cool features. And let's go ahead and we'll go back and I'll show you how to export the video now. So you go back and then you can play the whole movie, but then you click the little upload here button. All right, just tap on that and then it'll give you a sharing options. All right, so you can share to um, iMovie Theater, Facebook, YouTube, all those options there, really easy to do. You can also save the video to your camera roll if you'd like. All right, you have some various options in terms of the size. So you have HD full 80, 1080p down to 360p and that is it, all right? So this is the new iMovie. I will show you uh, my first movie, which is Shades of Fall in another video, uh, but it's a very cool little mini documentary that I shot with my iPhone. But hopefully this was helpful. By the way, I have a free e-guide um, called uh, start how to how to produce mobile videos all right so check it out at webvideochefs.com slash mobile if you found this helpful please go ahead and like share or subscribe ask us a question at ask at webvideochefs.com money channel and i will talk to you soon peace